Hello YouTube, I want to show you my new radios here. This is the XPR 6550 and the XPR 7550. Uh, to make things a little simple, I refer to this as the 65 and this as the 75. Okay, on the 65, the top rotary channel selector knob only goes up to 16 because there's a stop block in there. And on the 75, it's continuous. You can go on and on, reverse or forward anyway, and uh, store as many channels as you want in the 75. With the 65, you're restricted to only 16 channels. And if you have any unprogrammed channels within the zone up to 16, you will hear a long, continuous tone and it will display unprogrammed. On the 75, that's no problem. You can store one channel per zone, five channels, and you won't have any leftover indications of unprogrammed. So, I like that. Uh, the buttons that are programmable are the uh, top emergency red buttons and the side uh, buttons above the pusher talk and the two side buttons on each of them below the push to talk switch and as well as P1 and P2 now on this radio here P1 and P2 uh, the shortcut buttons if you want to call it it will display on the screen let me turn this on here the backlight it will show what do you have assigned to it so P1 I have for zone selection and P2 is scan. Very nifty little radio here. Okay, another thing on the 65, if you're used to uh, pressing the menu button, you have to scroll left or right. And when you make your selection, you press OK and then the exit, you use the back button. On the 75 here, you press OK. This is the menu selection button. And then you scroll up or down through your selection. And when you uh, find the right one you want, you press OK. And then the home button or back, whichever you want to call it, to exit. Let's see what else we got here. Looking at my cheat sheet so I can uh, show you. Okay, uh, uh, the keypad. You can also set the entire radio channels on the 75 from um, one to how many you want. You can, without having a zone. So you have to do this in the CPS software. If you want to, you can have your entire radio channels in your radio here as one zone. And your zone selection button will be disabled because you're having everything all in one zone. Or, if you want to, you can have it the regular way, whichever zone you program, you can have how many channels you want inside. And another thing about this here too, you can use the keypad to directly enter your channel that you want to recall it. So if you have a, a 50 memory channels, in a particular zone, you don't have to fiddle about rotating the uh, top dial knob. You can just press a numeric keypad button and press OK, and you can get to that channel uh, just like that. So that's what I like about the uh, channel recall feature. Uh, and this also has uh, a display dimmer. You can uh, dim it how bright or how low you want it to show and there is also a night and day selection screen that you can have it you can dim the whole screen to uh, night display or you can have it bright for uh, uh, day or if I got that reverse but anyway that's a cool little feature in there that I like also okay well that's just a quick rundown so uh, but just remember the 75, I like it very much. The feature benefits about it is that the top channel knob is continuous versus 
you can only go up to 1 to 16. That's the difference that I like about the knobs. And I can enable or disable the channel entry feature on here. That's cool. And it will show what zone or scan or whatever you have programmed the P1 or P2. Uh, very cool about that. But you cannot do it on the 65. But both radios are good. I'll tell you that. Uh, both are 1,000 channels. And you have 1,000 contact names that you can select and uh, also page somebody. And that is usually it will work in the digital mode. And you have to uh, use the CPS software to do that. And you can program. Uh, I'm a ham radio operator, by the way. And uh, I have some... Uh, uh, digital channels in here and you have to go to the uh, special website to subscribe for your uh, DMR mark ID it's usually a seven digit number and when you program it in here so when you see somebody's ID come up on, on the screen here you will know because that's the radio that they are transmitting on and uh, one more little thing here lots of things I'm forgetting uh, the antenna base, let me remove this here, I want to show you. I mentioned that in my last video, but I like this one a little better. I'm trying to speed through. Okay. If you see on the antenna here, it has a rubber sleeve that comes down just a little bit here. And you can see what I'm talking about. If uh, Maybe you can't see it too good. But the antenna, when you attach it on the 65, it's more embedded on the uh, top of the radio. Where on the 75 here, uh, you can see that this here plastic uh, casing is raised above about one eighth of an inch. And when you use this antenna, you can see what I'm talking about, the difference. So, this here is a little bit above the casing of the radio and the potential chance that it might snap off one day. Where on the 65 here, it's more or less embedded into the radio and a little bit more secure. So, it depends. Put these back on here. Do, 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 do. And um, I'm going to show you one more thing here. Let me turn this off. Okay, the battery track where you attach the battery is a little bit more, I feel secure with it on the uh, 75 because it's a little more leeway on the track where if you drop it you know that the battery will not depart it's a good secure connection that's a tight fit and on the 65 let me remove it the battery you can see it's a shorter uh, separation here you know and so not much of a battery track to actually slide up on or anything. It's a little short. Okay, I guess that concludes this here uh, short comparison between the uh, 65 and the 75 I like them both can't decide but uh, hey you gotta get the best and uh, that's all for now thanks for watching